Happy anniversary, Trinity Adventist International Church. I am so glad that I was part of the pioneering work of TAIC. I'm also thankful that the Lord inspired Kunbi Rod to start and establish a church in the school. I'm, I'm, I'm so thankful that I was chosen by God to lead the church, work with Thailand Adventist Mission, and then eventually, now, uh, TIC have really grown as a church. Well, it started in 2004, and the first anniversary was in 2005 as a company. The second anniversary was in 2006. So probably you would ask me, why is it celebrated? Why was it celebrated uh, during September? And the reason behind is that in that year also, we were able to submit to Tang. We were um, organized as church in two, December 2006 by uh, the executive, executive secretary, then Pastor Samuel Paul. Eventually, 2007, we celebrated the, the anniversary during December. I think it was the third week. Okay. December 12, 2009. Behind this uh, program is an announcement that's really, really, really uh, meaningful and uh, memorable to me. So, in 2009 was the fifth anniversary. So, and then the Agape Feast is what I like so much. The Agape Feast, we celebrate the Agape Feast. And it was, uh, and, and that Agape Feast will also celebrate the Lord's Supper. Remember that the Lord's Supper, every Lord's Supper, we we celebrate it through it. <laughs> Eat all you can uh, bread and drink all you can uh, grape juice. We do, we do the ceremony at the church and then eventually we, went, we go down to the third floor to celebrate the, the Lord's Supper and then the Agape Feast. I can recall the, uh, the vacation Bible schools and the uh, branch Bible schools in the community. Des and Isagani uh, organized a vacation Bible school somewhere in a place, I don't know where, but it's very organized and we were able to uh, have a graduation for the, the Thai kids. I'm so glad that we did those community community um, work. Uh, these are the pioneering members. You can see their names. See? And I, my father was there also as a member because he, he was baptized at Mong Tong Tani during a crusade. I think our speaker was Pastor Bartolome by MSSD. 2009, 2010, we had that innovative uh, church worship. We do 30 minutes singing in medley. We combine the church hymn, the praise song, and eventually and the, 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 the last song we stand all together, and then the preacher will pray. Okay, and after his prayer, he eventually delivers his sermon, and after his sermon is the garden of prayer. I learned a lot from this uh, uh, strategic plan. And that year, our budget was about uh, $124,600 bucks. Those are the things that I've learned so much from the church, from the church board, from the church members. Had it not with them, see, the church should have not uh, that direction because we prayed through earnestly to the Holy Spirit that uh, somehow He guides us with the work there in Trinity. The Lord has blessed the church so much and have sent uh, church members and people to serve. And the chairs have uh, also uh, its um, uh, branches. We have the Bongtong Tat, we have the Omboy, we have the Jackson Isao, and uh, well, the uh, uh, Brother Edison's group. I, I forgot I forgot the other place, but anyways, we have four uh, 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 churches that sprang out of uh, uh, the Trinity. And I'm, I'm so thankful that those churches also they continue to grow and continue to serve our Lord Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. And happy anniversary. Continue uh, uh, to do the word of God there. God has called you there. And God has called you to minister there. I would like to praise the Lord uh, about uh, the church here. Uh, we have always been blessed by the Lord. And uh, this is... We, it's 18 years. Uh, 18 years ago, uh, we started the school 
and we would also want to have church in the school too. And at that time, uh, Pastor Donald was our first pastor, and he was also our chaplain. He was also teaching uh, at the school. Uh, and the very first year, I believe we were not a church, but we were just a company uh, supported by Tam. Uh, pastor Putney uh, was the pastor at that. Uh, what was the president at that time? And he was like fully supporting us, uh, even though we we're just like uh, a few kilometers from BIC. Uh, but we were able to to organize and start the church here. Uh, the there were like a few families that supported the church. I I can remember like uh, a brother Al Alex family. Uh, and I think uh, Brother June, Brother Jomer, uh, and later uh, Brother Isagani, uh, and a few more, of course, with Pastor Donald's family. Uh, and at that time, we were having quite a lot of SDA teachers from the States and also from the Philippines. So, so we were were blessed and Tam also recognized us and also we were expanding to like a few sister churches. Uh, so up until now has been 18 full years and we are very glad that we have Pastor Galvo here with us. Remembering how God brought me to Trinity Church the first time that I heard about Trinity was when a new met friend, Brother Seth Cho, told me that there is a church in Tonglo. And so I said, let's go and see and help build the church. That was in August 2004. The first day that we visited Trinity, Lota and I were surprised because only Pastor Donald and his wife Jonah and their little girl who are in the church. After an hour of waiting, Brother Seth Joe and Sister Nanette came. And that Sabbath, our worship was short and simple. We only sang some hymns, read the Bible, and prayed. The following Sabbath, Kunwi wrote and his family came. I remember that there were times when we were only five, sometimes six, sometimes we were eight. There were also times when some visitors attended our worship but they never returned because we're only, we're only few nevertheless we continued worshiping every Sabbath until early 2005 people started coming and joined the church brother Phil and sister Sue Brother Curtis, Sister Jen, Sister Nelsie, and Sister Annabel were added. With this few number, the Holy Spirit led us in planning on how to reach out the community. Our approach was teaching English for free. One Sabbath afternoon, we went out along Sukhumvit area. We distributed flyers. We got about 30 students registered. Teacher Phil 
started his lesson telling the creation story so he used the Bible as his textbook but uh, sad to say every Sabbath afternoon the number of students was decreasing until only two were left but brother Phil said it's not a failure and even if only one he said still a successful one God's presence through the Holy Spirit gave us comfort and power to overcome in the mid of 2005 brother Doug sister Annalisa and her children brother Hashim sister Mary Lou sister Ice and her husband brother Stephen and his wife Patrick and Shelley then followed by sister Ben and brother Alex Neil and Lay. In August 2005, Trinity was recognized as a company and eventually recognized as Trinity Adventist International Church in 2006. Thank God for His love and care. I learned many things such as how to be a part-time missionary, how to reach out our community by simply teaching English, making friends and earning their trust so that I could preach Jesus to them. So I hope and pray that Trinity Adventist International Church will continue to grow in the knowledge of truth and be filled with the Holy Spirit that uh, you may serve as true and faithful witnesses of Jesus. Hello to my Trinity friends. It is so wonderful to greet you and to wish you a wonderful church celebration. I am so glad that you are still winning souls for Christ. Love you all. Bye-bye. This is Sister Juanita. A few weeks after I arrived in Thailand from the Philippines, that was 2004, I remember walking down Pretty Road with a friend. There, we bumped into Pastor Donald, and that was how I was first introduced to him. He then invited us to attend his church, which happened to be Trinity. So I started going to Trinity from then on. However, in January 2005, my husband Alex and my son Jed joined me here fresh from the Philippines. Due to convenience, we transferred to BIC since it was closer and there was a children's department. Trinity didn't have one at the time. But Pastor Donald encouraged us to support Trinity, so we went back there even though it required more effort to travel. At the time, Trinity wasn't even officially a church yet. It was actually a company. I remember being there when the board applied to Thailand Adventist Mission to be certified as an official church. When we got to approved, we had a vote on what to name our church. The three options were Trinity International Church of Seventh-day Adventists, Trinity Seventh-day Adventist International Church and Trinity Adventist International Church. You could guess what name won the vote. Although we kept moving to different apartments, condos, and houses all over Bangkok, we chose to stay in Trinity because we found a family here. I thank the Lord for Trinity Adventist International Church. I started my ministry there being the church pastor in the year 2011 at the month of December when Pastor Donald Esguera 
the pioneering church pastor decided to come back to the Philippines for good with his family. I still remember that one spiritual retreat we had, we had a theme which entitled Beyond Struggles. It's because that was when we were challenged with scarcity of fun in church, but we enjoyed it beyond compare. I have to mention the pioneer church members during my time, Kunmirot and Kunwani, who without them, uh, putting God as the number one priority in their life, this church would have not come into existence. This couple, I would like to tell you, are always supportive in church programs. I miss the Dumayags, the Solanos, the Ovidentios, the Denises, the Mangunes, the Baligods, the Villarreals, the Risardos, the Zavals, the Sabidras, the Oblimars, the Ricartes, the Roques, the Miguels, the De Leons, the Recas, the Siguas who are now in the United States and the ever remained singles until now. <laughs> the Miranya siblings, Chona, Leanne, Myra, and sorry if I missed a name. I also missed our spiritual retreats in Saraburi, Siracha, Rayong, our all-out food and truck distribution to the street people, as well as in the nearby parks as part of our Sabbath afternoon ministry, which participated in even the little kids. Our after the Sabbath socialization and eating our dinner together in our house at Predi Banomyong also becomes a fond memory that our shouting and boisterous laughter is still kept ringing in my mind to this day. This and many more made up all our remarkable bonding that became part of my life. I won't forget, especially the Agape Feast at the third floor as part of our anniversary celebration each year. I miss that. Happy, happy 18th anniversary to all. If all the churches that I have missed, it is um, Trinity International. Hi, my name is Charlo. You, everyone knows me as Cheng. Greetings from Victoria, British Columbia in Canada. When I lived in Thailand, I, I went to um, um, Trinity International Church for maybe about five years or seven years. My most um, unforgettable experience happened with the brethren. I created friendships and um, relationships with some of some of them or some of you because guaranteed everyone in Trinity are so fun to be with. I remembered we had um, choirs, outings, and after, you know, AY, we go somewhere else and just to hang out, we just couldn't get enough of each other. <laughs> I don't remember the exact date that I started going to Trinity International Church, but what I always remember is that, you know, the dedication of the people that go there, especially starting with the owner. So we thank you for them. One of the challenges that I've experienced in Trinity International Church is time. Um, you know, being Filipinos, we're not very good at time. But we were able to overcome that. We started our Sabbath school as early as we have planned and then ended it how we wanted it. One of also the uh, things that I remember is potluck. You know, potlucks are always so fun because it went to a point where the members are the ones that are going to prepare for the potluck. So it's the fellowship started there before we start the potluck. So it's really fun. And our sports events, Christmas parties. Oh, I, I just couldn't forget, um, you know, our AY programs. And everyone is so, like, ready and game to participate. I um, prepared a program for the AY. It's... Um, 
because who um who do you, who are you in the bible it's like a bible character so everyone was all willing to dress up as a bible character and it was so so um, like enjoyable and not just that you know it 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 improved our relationship with each other just because the members are so willing to participate. Whoever it is that are still there, that are really good friends of mine, sila Kuya Alex, sila Ati Beng, I don't really know what else because I know that everyone expanded and went to different churches because of their jobs and um, locations for their, for their families. I will hold Trinity International in my heart forever. A way I like to keep track of this church code and history is through its music and choirs. For example, out of many anniversaries, our church had the third always stood out for me. A BOP style concert where our church all sat in front of the congregation. Those were very good times. Our first choir leader, if I'm not mistaken, was a Saint Dumakmat, then later Carol Montolo, Dorothy, and Borte Oblimar. We were a big why? So we're frequently through, through different churches like Rais, PIC, Maik, the Chinese Church, and more. As the years went by and members moved out, our choir downsized into a music group led. Although many changes have occurred, such as different sets of responses and singers, my family and I are very happy that we're still here in Trinity. Not only we have found a family, but also a home. Greetings from Obedience Your Family. As you know, I was installed on December 20, 2014 as your third pastor. But I started working in January 2015 until June 2016. That was a period of about one year and six months, 18 months. And in those period, we had seven baptized souls. I remember Irish Grace Tumlos was baptized on June 27, 2015. And Angela Komabig and Grace Joy Gurumba on November 14, 2015. Also, I remember Nemily Vasquez and Daria, I mean Daria. Gabatilan on April 9, 2016, and Marcella Bilagot and Merlin Lingaling on August 27, 2016. I do not remember any marriages in the church, and that is what I want to see through the years. Like marriage at Trinity seems like very slow to evolve. After we had some church inventory on January 11, 2015, and the strategic plan was already in place uh, led by brother neil roque we had it approved and we did right away on the bible studies with brother albert at his place in uh long Tan. that was on january 7 2015 and we moved to lorna's sister lorna's condo at rama 4. On february 6 to 8 2015 we had this all in one church retreat in jomtian pataya small group ministries and other departments were very active like women's ministries and youth ministry and other ministries so we added more bible studies on uh march 28 2015 at ekamai with uh, juliet and some moved to dindeng and uh we even visited like two families a thai and a pakistani you know that pakistani a fam family, Somira, is now in Canada, and even now, she's actually a Muslim, you know, a, a Madi Muslim, and she still communicates with me. From communion service on June 5, 2015, and we added more Bible study in Lam Luca, about 10 people there on June 7, 2015. Hospital visit to Marcella at Nuparat Rajatani Hospital in Ramintra, Bangkok. But we also partnered with BAIS in their promotion, like fundraising, and uh, Your Servant became uh, one of uh, uh, like school board members together with Conway Root. And that was in November 20, 2015 until my term in 2016. Very exciting program with the AY, AYA in May 4 to 6, 2016. Very much involved. The singles at that time were given much time with uh, your very active, you know, AY leader, Sister Chona, I don't tell you. 
there was mass promotion on uh, exegetical Sabbath school lesson as I was involved with Global Biblical Studies Forum, it helped to some some ways and uh, to some it created some, you know, some impact that would excite some of us to really study further. I challenge everyone to really study more of God's Word. Uh, you may call them problems, but I call them challenges for better opportunities. And number one was leadership. As you know, I was not the expected pastor. And so there was this little false expectation and leadership became like uphill, a challenging uphill instead of a downhill one. That is, I had no choice with the work of, with, with, the, of with the Holy Spirit. I had to be humble, although it may not seem humble to some. There was no other option. Uh, I had some weaknesses like the church has. And the good thing is what counts most is what the Holy Spirit can do within each one of us. And so 18 months was not enough. It's just like any relationship like marriage. It needs more adjustment. I was hoping for five years more for a very good strategic plan to be materialized. But then... God used some decisive leaders of the local mission to move me to another church assignment in Thornbury in July 2016. Another challenge that I saw was communication. Texting, you know, in chat group was proven ineffective. It's better to have a face-to-face -face or video conferencing rather than merely texting, which can be interpreted in many ways depending on one's mood and condition. It should be more open, tactful, and loving. God overrules everything and mended things for His purposes and even relationship for the church to stay together through the years. Third very important thing is relationship. It is of utmost importance. First to God, of course, and second to one another. God heals and reconciles some broken ones through the years. Now we know that people come into our life for a reason, for a season and for a lifetime. I remember in my term, Sister Jen Lopez, Sister Bing Solano, and uh, Sam, like Brother Edison and Sister Lota Apostol, who are still in New Life International Center in Tiwanan. And you may love to hear it. The Trinity is a priesthood of all believers, as what, you know, Adventism and uh, I should say Protestantism advocates. You are to be thankful to God for such an opportunity. You are to be thankful to the faithful servants, stewards, Conwi Root and Konwani for being the channels of God's blessings in hosting Trinity Church at their educational center of influence, the Trinity International School. More blessings to all of you, especially in your 18th anniversary. We are here to share to you how God has blessed us and our family here at TAIC. We've been here for 14 years now. We are glad to share to you that we are the first couple who celebrated the wedding ceremony in this church. We are also thankful and grateful for the kindness and generosity of Conrad and Kanwani, the owner of the school and the church. And we are so grateful also for the former members of this church and the members that are still here for sharing their blessings in our simple wedding celebration that was 2007. We praise God also that our children were dedicated, grow up in this church. God also used them to share their talents that God has given to them. There were ups and downs in our church, but still God used this church to bless us, to bless our friends, to bless the members of the church and to bless its family. At TAIC Church, we developed and used our talents that God has entrusted to us to serve God and others. We are so glad that God leads us all the way in our faith journey. The Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy sharing God's love, serving God in TAIC Church. I've been in Trinity um, almost my whole life <laughs> since um, I moved here since I was one. So I grew up within um, the walls of the building and the church. 
and um, and I started studying at Trinity International School since the second grade until I graduated. So <laughs> I kind of memorized the building and um, every corner of um, the church, you know, in my mind. It's ingrained in there into my memory. I was the only boy um, during the earlier years of Trinity, and um, it, it wasn't. I got used to being alone <laughs> most of the time, um, and eventually more kids came as um, the amount and population of members began to grow. Um, this included um, the Dumayag siblings, um, the Oblimar family, um, the Sigwa family, and uh, the Dennis family, and many more um, for me to uh, name. <laughs> I grew a lot in Trinity and I developed um, my skills and found my passions within the church, especially um, my musical ability. Um, I started playing piano for the church when I was 11. I remember um, um, being frustrated with playing the keys since they were so heavy and I was, um, my hands were too tiny and weak you know, to press hard so I could barely make a sound. But Eventually, over the years, I've gotten used to the heavy keys of the piano. I've also um, spoke um, a sermon at age 11, too. And that's, that was the first time I spoke in front of the congregation. And that was a very helpful experience. I spoke a few more times and um, recently, <laughs> a few months ago. I remember um, enjoying... Um, participating in the children's Sabbath school and being active um, within the children ministry whenever we did plays we did songs and mini concerts and um, it, it's such a huge part of my life and it helped me grow spiritually um, especially when I was baptized I represented um, Trinity Trinity will always be a huge part of my life um, even if I leave in the future since um, I've you know been a Trinity member um, from age one until now 18. I believe that God has been with us since the foundation of this church. I am the fourth pastor who was assigned. I served the church since October 1, 2016 up to September 30, 2019. I am so thankful that God had been with me, had been with the church, and we received a lot of blessings, materially and most especially spiritually, because we did a lot of things. They are small, they are great, but I believe that it was God who led us. And in day and Trinity, I can still remember simple and great things that happened that helped me a lot we did a lot of things like mana giving these are traditional activities in the church that they are effective means of doing what god expects to the church retreats going from different places like the beach the mountainside where we can enjoy nature together as a church. There were some informal trips like Barkadahan, going with the, uh, different places. Visitation as a church. We go together using the van to visit someone or a family. And I believe that these were the right thing to do, especially when church members are not attending the church because of, of some family or personal problems there were times also that i have been with the elders visiting families and individuals praying for them and at some point giving bible studies i'm not so much familiar how much baptism we have during those two years but i believe we have some because during that time brother Albert was still with us in Trinity as a layman and he was working in Trinity and Tiwanon 
and some other places where Bible students are, were present. I remember those moments when we have a care group in Ramapur in the residence of uh, Sister Lorna Kawagas. We have a regular Bible study there. And as far as reading is concerned, the only fresh memory in my memory is the wedding of Brother Parts and Sister Dell. I'm so happy and thankful that I am a part of the wedding. May the love of God uh, be with you all, the love of the Father, the working of the Holy Spirit. We miss you so much and I really want to congratulate you on all of these years of service. This special day and really remember all the wonderful times that we had together. Uh, Jenny, me, the kids, it's years that we spent there with you and really have wonderful, fun memories of everything we have been through together. Um, the missionary work together, going to or not, most lately, all the support that you give with the different ministries that we got involved over the years. One thing that I remember very clearly is how the church got together and they supported each other, supported me and, and everyone with the C7 project where we launched the activity and we received more than a hundred people in the church and talk about evangelism online and we started something together that I think that have flourished and and you guys are doing wonderful, wonderful work for God. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. I first attended Trinity Adventist International Church way back 2007. During that time, we had a lot of activities. 2010, our pastor that time was Pastor Donald. We had a banquet in Ariston Hotel, and I can still remember the theme, One in Love. It was an amazing banquet, and everybody in the church joined, including the kids of course and we have also we had also outreach activity like orphanage visitation in Supanbury it was April 2006 when we found a church we call our home in Thailand and Trinity Church has become a place we always look forward to attend to every Sabbath because we really felt at home since then. It was during uh, Pastor Donald Isguera's time. And I still remember every Sabbath, everyone, exci everyone is excited to see each other because we have so many planned activities. We used to have uh, cooking demos. Happy, Happy anniversary, anniversary, our beloved Tai. God, God bless, bless you, you and we, we love, love you all. I'm Chona and I've been in this uh, church for 14 years since 2008 and before I went to another church but when I found this church I'm so happy and I'm so blessed all of activities especially the during AY and we have lots of banquets and uh, mission trips and retreats we remember when we were part of uh, the next generation of believers worshiping under Pastor Donald Esquera. We felt and we truly believe that the Lord has been with this church and uh, um, setting pictures of how they have cared for us when uh, we were still building and creating a family here in Thailand. Remember when we first went to the Trinity Church, we were both singles, me and my wife Anades were still single then. We, we never imagined any thoughts about uh, having grown the family uh, in the Trinity uh, Church, uh, but God has 
many surprises. He always does. Uh, one of the great memories that we have in Trinity Church was our wedding. Yes, I think uh, we were the second then uh, after Jomer and Shirley's wedding. Almost all the members were part in our wedding and so we are, we are really blessed by that uh, event, sharing that wonderful thought uh, among our family that we will never forget. And through the current leadership of our Lord through Pastor Arnold Calvo, we know that the church will touch more and more lives in the coming more years. And with that note, we are also hastening the Lord's coming. It was in April 2019 when the Thailand Adventist Mission assigned me to be the pastor of Trinity Adventist International Church. And since then, my family and I, we have found a home in TAIC. But what I really like about our church family is that everyone in the church is involved not only in the worship programs, in our fellowship, but also in our outreach ministries. It has also been more than two years that we have adapted the Onut 86 community as our outreach program. We have done uh, medical health checkups and health education. We have given gifts to all the children there. We have uh, given uh, clothes and also visited homes and prayed for them. And surely, it has become a blessing for us. And we know that in many ways, we have also blessed that community. At the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus, which later became a pandemic, we already started our online uh, prayer meeting and Vespers worship. So, when the churches were closed and lockdowns were imposed, we were already uh, doing what most churches have been doing at the moment, and that is having our online worship and ministries. But at the start of this year, our church leaders and members thought, we can do more. And so we prayed about it, and we relaunched our online media ministry. We were more intentional now because we have formed teams, and working groups to contribute towards this ministry. And praise the Lord that we have seen wonderful results. Now, everyone in the church, from the young to the older ones, we are involved in this ministry by sharing to our friends, family members, and people that we want to reach with the message of the gospel. We share our devotional content every morning. We have our music that inspires us to our Trinity notes. And then we also have our uh, still voice, which is a video of our Sabbath school preview for the coming week. And on top of that, we are able to share our uh, worship program every week. All of these things has reached the hearts of many people, not only here in Bangkok, but in many places of the world. So much so that even a small church in Canada has been inspired by what we have been doing and now we are trying to help them establish their own online media ministry. Some of our content in our Facebook page has even reached hundreds of thousands of people. This means that as we work together in this family, as we enjoy the blessings of being part of this home, we are also able to impact and influence the life of other people. If you haven't found a home yet in Bangkok, I invite you, come and be a part of our Trinity Adventist International Church family. This is your home away from home. And this is the place where we worship together, where we love, laugh and fellowship with one another, where we uh, nurture our children to grow in their love for Jesus, but where we also work hand in hand so that we can reach out to more people who don't know Jesus yet. Come and be part of this family. We welcome you home. <music>